detail. And salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Detail. here and I'm at the 2021 Rust Belt Rebellion event. Now this event is put on by a guy named Kent and it's to benefit the homeless veterans of our country. So we're going to go find Kent and he's going to tell us a lot about this event or all about this event. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff going on. All kinds of cool cars, got bikes, got little games and stuff going on behind the scenes. So. We'll give you a little sneak peek into how it works. Come on, let's go look around. Yeah, I brought my car. Slippers, what'd you bring? Brought my CL 360. I brought my 1971 Triumph Spitfire, which we did a video on this, and we actually filmed part of the video here. And we'll show you where we filmed that part of the video. I'm here with Kent Reed at the Reed Ranch from the Rust Belt Riders and Larice from the Veterans Center. Now, Kent, tell us a little bit about this event that you've been putting on for how many years now? This is the eighth year we've done this, the seventh year that we've done it for the home and for Larice. And um, I can't say enough about her as a person and what she does for this home. You don't get paid, uh, that's beside the point. It's just day to day and everything, the roof leaking earlier this year. She called me and left a video. It wasn't dripping in her office. It was whitewater rapids. And it's just those things every day. But these are homeless veterans. And she runs a smaller home. Uh, you can house up to 40. Yes, no, 38. 38, okay. How many do you have there now? Right now I have 12 there, and I have five in the local hotel. Because of COVID restrictions, we're not allowed to put all of the veterans in there. We had to break them down to single rooms. Phenomenal lady, and all the, the people from the home, the veterans, a lot of times they come out and help her do this, and uh, they're extremely appreciative of Absolutely. what we're doing. Absolutely. We're nothing but happy to help these people out, period, and, and this one specifically, because of the whole scenario that they work under is, is not good, but if we can help them, that's what we, the Rust Absolutely. Bell Riders, this is what we do. Absolutely. We put on a car show fundraiser, you guys have seen what all went on here today, just to help her do it. Look at the grin on it. <laughs> yes. So if anybody out there wants to donate, absolutely, they can, we'll 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 put a link here where they can donate to the center. That'd be absolutely. awesome. That'd Thank be outstanding. You. Yes. So all you grass rats out there are watching, I want you to donate. Donate some money. Awesome. It's for a good cause. Absolutely. It, it's and a, it's a, a 501c3 right off. Tax right off. See, there you go. Charitable right off. Carol, they need a unicorn. A unicorn. They need a, a human unicorn. Someone that's got a big wallet and a big heart. One of their major issues is the utilities cost on average. Oh my God, Nipsco during the winter is anywhere from 1,200 to 15 uh, more a month. That's the utility bills and the rent is that or more every month. If they could get someone to be nice enough to help them out with a building and take a 501c3 charity, charitable contribution that's received for Visa Real Estate. Absolutely. They're not really losing money. You know, come on, this, we all understand how that works. Absolutely. And then she could big go, shoo. <laughs> and yes, it's, it's you know, uh, first of all, let's say that no veteran that serves our country and which have committed themselves to our country should ever be homeless. 
uh, let's establish yes, that. that's true. And the fact that, you know, people always say, why is a veteran homeless? Well, first of all, they don't get enough income to be uh, uh, to be compensated to live on their own. Uh, compensation could go anywhere from 10% disability all the way up to 100%. And we know that most veterans are not 100% service connected. So they don't have enough along with their disability to survive on their own, pay the rent, pay a partner, pay the utilities. Uh, will the veterans ever, uh, will there ever be any veterans that's not housed? That's gonna take a lot of hard work and a lot of commitment from us all over this world because you know what, our American veterans serve not only our country, but they serve our allies as well, you know. Yeah, true, so true. we'd like for you guys to please join us, join with us, support our organization. Go to our website, www.veteranslcs.org. That stands for Veterans Life Changing Services. Org. We are a 501c3 not for profit organization, charitable, so they, it is a tax write off for you. Thank you again for your time. All right, give, give. This give. is a great thing that they put on. Yeah. You know, Terrell, you know, I'm not a veteran, but we all. That's right, I'm not I'll, a veteran either. I'll get and my I'm fat butt up out of the bed and go to a car show to sweat like I am today. Absolutely. I'll, and I'll Commitment. do it week after week because. If you like what goes on or not, it's because young people sign on a dotted line and go to a foreign country where someone wants to maybe kill them, but they do it. And I'll get my butt out of bed and go do it and do what we do here yeah, and be absolutely. dang proud That's to right. do it. And, and so for a phenomenal thankful. lady like her, what she's doing, yep. it, it's, it's a, a it, great thing that these two are doing. Absolutely. For well, thank nothing. You. Thank you. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, they're not making any money on it. No. They're, they're doing it out of, out of the goodness of their heart. Absolutely. And so we're, we're passionate about what we do. Oh, they yeah, sure they're are. Very much so. And yes. we're about to give away a 1950 Dodge pickup for $2 a ticket. And I'm going to win. <laughs> and I got another surprise coming that's mm. really going to be pretty neat. Today? Yeah, we got a pretty cool surprise okay. coming today. Oh, I surprise. love surprises. Yeah, we got a pretty cool surprise. And I'd like to just uh, mention one more thing. Not sure. only do the veterans live there, but I also house both male and female veterans uh, with temporary housing. We provide case management, and we also are part of a, a team there in Northwest Indiana where we provide uh, a permanent housing opportunities to those veterans. So we are just grateful to be able to do that. This, this may be a small operation, it's no fly-by-night situation. She has done her homework. She does a phenomenal job and does whatever within her reach and powers to do everything they can for Very Thank good. It's very good. I'm, we're, we're real, we're real, real proud you. to be part of what she does. Yep. Thank you so much. And thank you for doing You're what so you welcome. do. So now welcome. give. Give, you grass I rat. Give. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on TV because they always say i got to <laughs> oh face the radio. You're going to be famous, Lori. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and supporting our veterans. Make a difference today. Thank you. And there is your dinner. Look at this sweet little baby, huh? Look at this little mini roadster. And look what's powering it. A Briggs and Scranton opposed twin. And you know where he got that Briggs and Scranton opposed twin? Got it from Carol here, didn't you, Ryan? Uh, got it, buddy. I gave it to Ron. Buy him. And you like this motor, don't you? Well, it's a great motor. It, great sounds, motor. it sounds cool too, don't it? Yes, it does. All right, fire it up. Fire it up. Fire it up. himself. No, well, with help from his son. Well, I helped him a little bit, and so did his son Al. Look at this jalopy, Model T. That's almost as old as me. Yep, 1926. I think I was just getting out of college. Got to do the hot 
wheels race. I got five bucks to go and buy one, so hopefully I can win something. You see what I'm saying? Go with Dodge Man. See what happens. He's a world famous YouTuber, guys. Yeah. We got celebrities here today. Where's Carol? Carol's back there. He'll take it Carol in a minute. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. And you know, like I said, these little ones make sure they get it if they win. I won. Work way back up, okay? There, by the way, not only do you get $95 for winning this today, you get a hand-built hand trophy to go with it. It will go away with the trophy presentation at about 4 30. All right, this is a try to find out who's winning this time. I think the SDP ladies Surviving another round, baby. Almost didn't make it, got a tie the first time. You want to be one of you, just one of you. All right, let's see what happens. Slippers, you're beating up on these little kids. I'm three, I'm trying. Come on. Oh, that was a great monarch. Oh, oh. 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 you got beat. All right, be. SDP one. I'm out. Two more, two more winners. Got a little souvenir, though.
<laughs> Come on, lucky tickets. I won that wheelbarrow last year. Well, the last two you did. Years, years. They didn't have it last year, but yeah, it was a two years, years ago. You won. My buddy won it the year before that. Got anything left over? No, you're at. No, the hall went there. Okay, you lady, I don't know you at all, do I? No, no, I didn't think I did. And I know you to be very trustworthy and an honest girl, correct? All right, that's all we really need to know. Turn that quite a few times. Keep her going. It's official. We are mixing the tickets. Go slow, go slow. Now go back to the way. Go back to the oh, oh. One fall. It's probably mine. Imagine that. Okay. Now, we're going to look. What's your name, little girl? Farah. Her name is Farah. And, of course, I've never met you before, correct? Good, I know. Okay. Oh. All right, reach down in there, mix around whatever one you think is a good one to pick. We are not at all responsible for hangovers, headaches, or car wrecks. Nine four six five one eight. Hey! Are you kidding? Hell, you win that? No, I didn't win. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maurice here, in case you don't know, is the owner, director, operator, head lady in charge of Veterans Safety Services Special. How long have you been doing? Uh, yeah, since 2009. 2009. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know some of you watch this up on Facebook and stuff like that. Maybe you saw it in the shoe you had in Waterloo. And uh, he, he sent me a text, now the message on Facebook, don't text it. Like I described, if it wasn't dripping in her office, it was white water rapids coming out of the ceiling. So we don't provide paying for that. Hey, and that's you that paid that, not us. It's all you doing. All right. So, we gave you a man three years ago. Hey, hey, give me that microphone. Who the hell are you? I just want to start by saying how disgusting this town is and how much all you people stink. <laughs> is that all you got? Oh, I got way more than that. And Kate Lee's going to see that too when I kick the crap out of him tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, it's in the oh, dick, right? Yes, you want my friend, my hey, your sister wants her pants back. You shut your mouth. I know, I know, I know. I know. I am. Okay. I'll be Speak up. I would like to personally invite all of you to come on down to the, uh, the show we're having tonight. That's how it wakes up. I don't blame you. Anyway, I'd like to have all you come down tonight to the, uh, the show. Are you done? We got stuff to do. What? We got stuff to do if you're done. I enjoy hearing this out of my voice. I enjoy hearing this out of my voice. I do. 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 I do
The men are talking now. The men are talking. You just go So over three years ago. I don't care about the truck. I have a yacht. As I was saying. <laughs> so, all right. So, it's obvious we have some guys that are wound up and should put on one hell of a good wrestling match tonight. Okay. So, three years ago, we gave you a van. Yes. It's sitting out there. Yes. Your sweetheart, as you call it. Yes. And she got issues right now. We're going to fix this for you this week. Thank you. I promise you, we think we got to figure it out. Thank you. Now, whatever you were thinking about, so we're going to get you some money this year. What's your huge plans? I mean, uh, a moped, a uh, hovercraft, uh, these are the things you need tonight. Uh, a jet. A jet, a private jet. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a or, or, how about something else? How about oh, you get a car that you can drive around in? Thank you enough. You've been so gracious to the veterans and just to me. And uh, I truly don't deserve it, but the veterans deserve it. Um, there in America, there should be no veteran that's homeless. Anywhere. We see veterans on street corners, and we, we're so used to seeing them that we become numb to the fact that none of our veterans should be homeless. I don't care if it's a nickel, dime, penny, if you can support any veterans organization, it just doesn't have to be mine. But if you can support veterans wherever they are, all over America, they're just not on our grounds. They're, they're in nations. They're with our allies. They're in other countries. Support our veterans. Support their families. They come back with so many issues. Support those families. If you have one in your community, you know that they are homeless, call us. We'll go to them. We'll provide what they need. We'll get them in a hotel if we cannot take them in the building. We'll take them to a hotel. We'll take care packages to them. We'll drive them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, shaking. I'm so grateful. I am so very grateful. Can I love you? Thank you, Mr. Jim. Right there. Right there. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's how we'll do this. I'm going to call. They don't answer the phone, nobody answers the phone, answer call. the phone. I'll call them a second time in a minute. The third time I'm letting you people have the phone number. So make your phone go nuts. Yeah. Jeff Sasser. Doug. Doug. Where's the buzzer, buddy? You are the winner. <laughs> All right, let me call Doug. Let's I think we got him on the line. Yeah. It was a little Mrs. talking to him, so <laughs> get ready for an auction, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, 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 Doug,
Did you buy a ticket for an old rusty Dodge pickup to help out homeless veterans recently for two dollars for the ticket? At Piatone, at Piatone, yep, we were there. Doug, let me ask you a personal question, my friend. Are you going to do the right thing and let us have it and auction it off right now in front of 500 people so we can make more money for that home? Or Doug, you want this truck? Doug, you're a beautiful human being. What's his opening bid? Hey, whatever money you got in your pocket, that's all you bid. Well, we're going to find it. <laughs> his, his wife is looking at him right now to sell the truck. <laughs> yeah. Well, Doug, thank you so much. We're going to have an auction right this very minute. We're selling that truck and we're going to make that much more money for the homeless veterans shelter that you bought a ticket for to support in the first place. Thank you so, so much. Somebody give us $500 for it? Right here. That's 500 Where does it be? $15? $1,500. $1,600. Anybody want to give us $1,600? $15. What? I got a $1,500 way back there. $1,500. Got the $2,100. $2,200. $2,300. $2,300. Dig into that suspension one more time there, Danny. $2,600. $2,600. $2,700. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800. $2,800.
Rust Belt Rebellion car show was awesome. I, I had a blast. I, I mean, I didn't win anything, but still had a lot of fun. Yep, and they raise a lot of money and stuff for the for the cause, which is good to help those veterans. Oh yeah, great cause. I also shaved my mustache halfway through the event, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, that's, that was pretty cool too. I got up a stall in there, did a quick little shave. Now the wrestling is still going on right now. They still got wrestling matches on, but we gotta go. We've been here all day. It's been a long day. We yeah. wanna go. And it's hot. And we're all sweaty and tired. Yep. So, of all of us here at Carol Fixes All, there's your dinner. dinner.